Canelo Alvarez could face Chris Eubank Jr. on September 14th, but instead of Las Vegas, both men could meet on English soil. Saul Alvarez hasn't decided who he will fight in September yet, while several boxers are raising their hands to let him know about their interest. The last names on the list are the American with Puerto Rican roots Edgar Berlanga and the Brit Chris Eubank Jr., who has quickly become the favorite. Chris Eubank Jr. also revealed the four major names on his boxing hit list after penning a deal with Sky Sports and Boxer and Canelo top the list. He stated Canelo Alvarez, Terrence Crawford, Connor Ben, Billy Joe Saunders, and that's just off the top of my head. There are many more fights out there that can be made, even domestically, so I'm in an exciting position. Saudi Arabia's Turkey Al Al Sheikh has spoken of working to arrange a showdown between undisputed champion Alvarez and newly crowned four division champion and two time undisputed champion Crawford should the latter defeat Israel Madrima for the WBA junior middleweight belt AUG 3 in Los Angeles. Crawford will be hoping Canelo goes with the former, as Eubank Jr. is his training partner. If Eubank Jr. lands the fight, then he will be able to give the American plenty of inside information ahead of his own date with the Mexican superstar. Meanwhile, Brian Bomack McIntyre, who trains both men, will benefit from preparing a game plan to face Canelo twice in a row. Well, I wonder what Edgar Belenga is going to do and say now. He's a superstar. He's got a whole island behind him. Puerto Rico. Oh, shit, Edgar. Eddie Hearn dropped the ball. Look like Eddie Hearn not really run the shit, huh? Canelo Alvarez looks like he's going to fight Eubank Jr. Oh, boy. What happened there? Eddie Hearn is out here pr promising people big fights. And he delivers most of the time. But then Canelo is out here marching to the beat of his own drum. And he's earned every right. Eubank Jr., I think it's an interesting fight. Kind of hard to go against Canelo, but my thing is who's gonna train Eubank Jr.? If he's still working with Bomack, because I think Bomack would like that opportunity, because this is just gonna lead and help build up Canelo against Terrence Crawford. Are y'all paying attention? After Eubank, Canelo, if Canelo wins, Crawford, Crawford will get Canelo. Eubank Jr. has yet to win a world title as a professional, but could have the opportunity to box Canelo for his undisputed super middleweight crown this summer. It's a move his father, Eubank Sr., would approve of, having previously suggested that a fight with Canelo would help dramatically shift his son's public perception. He said, let's get to the point. Canelo is the only person he's going to be able to fight now to redeem any type of respect from the fighting public. Real fighters, real boxing people, I know how you win respect. It's not beating a Liam Smith Jr. This is what my view is. Your saving grace is going to be Canelo. You're never going to get back down to 160 pounds. I won't allow that to happen anyway. You're a 168 pounds fighter. Canelo is your way to win respect and you cannot beat him. Not Canelo. The only way you can beat him is if daddy is next to you. That's it. Eddie Hearn confirmed that Matchroom had shown interest in promoting Eubank before Boxer ultimately secured his signature. He then cast doubt on the reports that the Brit will face Canelo later Later this year. He stated, we had a conversation, not myself, but Frank Smith has been speaking to the team. As I understand it, he wanted two sort of gimme fights to come back to. He's been inactive for a long time, out for a year. I don't know where they're up to with the Canelo stuff. It doesn't sound to me like that's happening, but who knows? Hearn said his offer would be one comeback fight before the ill-fated Conor Ben bout, but he believes Eubank's plan is to instead have two lower level fights before a proper big stage return. We wanted to give him one fight as that sort of warm up and then fight Conor Ben, but he wanted two fights. They messaged Frank, I think last night to say, look, we're gonna do these two fights and then we'd like to fight Conor Ben. We'll keep that communication open, but I guess he'll return in those two easy fights in August, September, and then December. Hearn believes that a fight between Conor Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga would be much more interesting than Canelo fighting Eubank Jr. You know, for me, obviously I want to push the Edgar Berlanga fight. He's mandatory. He's a big, strong super middleweight. He punches like a mule. And it's Mexico against Puerto Rico. I think it's a massive fight. PBC probably want to push the Charlo fight. He's been very inactive. But who knows? Anything's possible. 
Boxing analysts Pauly Malignaggi and Teddy Atlas pointed out on ProBox TV that Canelo could choose Chris Eubank Jr. as his next opponent since he is attracted to having his first fight in England and changing Las Vegas for another of the boxing capitals. Malignaggi said England would love to have a Canelo Alvarez fight. Those boxing fans are the best in the world. They'd be rooting for Eubank, but obviously they'd be privileged and in awe to have one of boxing stars to choose their venue to fight at. Calling the UFC's assertive move to set 14 for a second straight year, a big statement and a kick in the teeth to boxing, Malignaggi said, you could see Canelo maybe taking his act on the road to England, where he'd be welcomed with open arms. The English love their boxing and superstar boxers. Malignaggi cited financially successful ventures to England by Ukrainian heavyweight and lightweight champions Oleksandr Usyk and Vasily Lomachenko in recent years as proof. He said, they were received very respectfully even though they were fighting the local guy. Malignaggi theorized this situation by saying, I'm thinking, with this combination of the UFC going on the Mexican Independence weekend, it may push Canelo out of Vegas, and it may push another possible opponent, Edgar Berlanga, away, because Berlanga is a more popular opponent in the U.S. The unbeaten Berlanga is Alvarez's WBA mandatory opponent, and he offers the ability to hawk the bout as a renewal of the Puerto Rico versus Mexico rivalry, although he would stand as a substantial underdog. Malignaggi said, Let's be honest, if you get the fight over to Europe a couple weeks after Mexican Independence weekend, I can see that possibility opening up, and I can see where Alvarez is going with this. Although UFC and boxing cards often go head-to-head, -head, the clashing of opposing high-profile combat sports cards can definitely reduce expected sales. In 2019, Alvarez was spotted resting on his locker room couch for an extended period as he waited out the conclusion of a UFC pay-per-view card headlined by Nate Diaz so that fight fans could switch over to boxing and pay to see Alvarez's complete fight afterward. Teddy Atlas said he obviously likes Alvarez, who turns 34 on July 18th against either Eubank or Berlanga. He stated, the only threat to Canelo is father time. If Canelo suddenly gets older and slips, he's slipping a little bit, but he's the sport's golden goose and he has the privilege to pick his music. Eubank and Berlanga are as close to opponents as you can get because Canelo has the edge and he'll always have the edge because he's the money guy. Berlanga is number one contender with the WBA and would bring an intriguing Puerto Rico-Mexico rivalry to the table. However, it was the Eubank talk that gathered more steam of late. He is coming off a rematch win over Liam Smith in the middleweight division last September, but has been inactive since. Dave Coldwell believes that Eubank Jr. won't be able to beat Canelo Alvarez. Coldwell Coldwell is disappointed in Canelo for going with Eubank Jr. and Edgar Berlanga as his next opponent when David Benavidez is there for the mega fight. Um, he draws numbers, so it's no brainer for Sky to get hold of him. It's more of a, with that fight, it's more of a disappointment I'm looking at with Canelo because Benavidez. Yeah. Hmm. What you, You're going from where everybody wants to fight Benavidez and he's a young you know, long, young lion coming through yep. and you're swerving that to talk about fighting Chris Eubank Jr. who's who's not got one you know real real well listen when he beat when, the, the guys that he's beaten the good day top names yep. weren't at the best you know, we're at that end of the career. However, former cruiserweight world champion turned pundit Johnny Nelson said Eubank has earned the right to take the Canelo fight. He stated, Chris is in a position to choose where he wants to go, what path he wants to choose in his career. He chooses to go in the eye of the storm against Canelo. Of course, most of us think, oh my God, what's he doing, man? But you know what? He's the one. He's going for the big bucks, the bigger glory if he manages to pull it off. How does it affect his stock in the rest of the world? It depends on how he wins or the fashion of the loss. He He's the decision maker. He's the businessman. But Nelson also expressed his concerns about such a matchup, which could result in him getting torn to pieces. Nelson warned, I think Chris's key for success has to be pace. Pace and movement. Box fighting. Obviously, Canelo is not the fighter he was years ago, but the fighter he is beats 95% of the fighters out there now. Is Chris in the 5% who can beat him? We don't know. We've seen his strengths and his weaknesses. Against Canelo, he needs to make sure his game plan is right, his way 
weight is right, how he executes the fight. If he wins, would I expect him to turn him over? No, I wouldn't. Would I expect him to pickpocket him? He's going to have to do. If he stands there with a 95% Canelo, he gets torn to pieces. It's obvious that a match between Canelo Alvarez and Chris Eubank Jr. won't be very competitive, but it could generate good pay per view sales if it happens in England. A match with Edgar Berlanga or Terence Crawford seems nice, but everyone wants to see a Canelo clash with none other than David Benavidez, who has been calling him out for a while now. Edgar Berlanga considers himself as one of the big names in his division for his media impact, only behind Alvarez and David Benavidez. He stated, I am the third biggest name in the division, only behind Canelo who is champion and Benavidez who is also champion. In terms of ticket sales, status, and name, I'm right there behind them. But still, the boxing world is eager to see a match between Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez to see who is the real number one among the two. Oscar De La Hoya also believes that Benavidez would knock Canelo out if the fight ever happens. He thinks that Benavidez is young and has a high output of jabs, which could trouble Canelo. Yeah, I think he knocks him out. Benavides is a monster. He really, he, he throws, Benavides throws literally an average of above 50 to 55 punches around. Canelo, Charlo, in the first round, they threw one punch combined. I'm not talking to you as, oh, I hate Canelo, oh, I hate... Benavides, I know, no, I'm talking about a boxing expert. Those are the facts. That's reality on paper. Now, what happens in the ring and the bell rings? I don't know. If Canelo lands that one bomb that he always throws, the right hand, I mean, it's 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 sayonara. It's game over for Benavides. But I think Benavides, uh, you know, because he's young, because he's strong, because he's very versatile and throws a lot of punches, it's going to create problems for Canelo. Mike Tyson is a big fan of Benavidez and thinks that Benavidez would win if a fight between him and Canelo ever happens. Tyson is so confident in Benavidez that he is sure that he would even beat Dimitri Bival. Mike stated, Benavidez is my guy. I think he can beat anybody in the division. I love Canelo, but he's not going to beat him. He's a little past his prime. I think he could even beat the guy who beat Canelo, Dimitri Bival. Jim Lampley remained genuinely in awe of Benavidez's boxing acumen. However, when he compared it with Canelo, he gave the legend status to the 61 two record holder. Lampley stated, first of all, Davis Benavidez is cosmic, exciting, spectacular, etc. But you're talking about the evidence of one fight. Canelo Alvarez, you're talking about the evidence of 70 fights. Jim further added, I don't know enough about David Benavidez to say to you, oh, he's going to beat Canelo Alvarez. He's going to knock out a guy that nobody has else has really been able to put on the canvas. Do I think David is a cosmic puncher? The big I've ever seen at that weight? I do believe that. Jim questioned people who think that Canelo is afraid of Benavidez. He thinks why would Canelo not fight Benavidez if he had fought Gennady Golovkin twice? Do I believe that it's a fight I have to see? That has to happen. It needs to take place in the wake of this? I've never seen Canelo back down from a challenge. He fought Gennady Golovkin twice. Why would he be scared of David Benavidez? One man who has seen fights come and go is Bob Arum, 92, who has headed up top rank since 1973. The veteran promoter seemed to lean towards Benavidez, but stopped short of making a prediction. He, like most, is uncertain the fight gets made. He stated, I've always been a Benavidez fan. I think he's a very good fighter. Canelo hasn't been as good lately as he was before, so I think that would be a very competitive match. Now, whether economically so forth it makes any sense, that's up to the fighters, neither of whom I promote, but certainly it would be interesting to see. Robert Garcia believes that Canelo wouldn't want to give Benavidez a shot because he has the power to do so, but he also said that he would love to see a fight between the two boxing titans. I, I, I personally think that, that uh, Benavidez is going to stay at 175 because I don't think him, I don't think him, and him versus Canelo is going to happen. I think there's already been so much talk, so much, uh, so much saying back and forth to a point where Canelo, Canelo is, is going to say, why? Why? I don't want to, I just don't want to give it to him. You know, Canelo, Canelo has that power. You know, he doesn't need the, 
the fight against Benavides. Garcia thinks that Benavides has the tool to defeat Canelo, but you can never count out a legend like Canelo. He stated, Canelo is so talented that he could actually win this fight. I personally feel like Benavides has the tools to beat Canelo, but I could be wrong. He also believes that Canelo is not afraid of fighting Benavides as he has faced them all. Canelo has fought everybody. I don't think he's afraid. I think he's too proud. And just saying that I can do anything I want, I don't have to please everybody that's asking for this fight. He's like, I don't have to please Benavidez or his dad who have said things about Canelo that weren't too nice. I think he'll get a lot of respect for giving this fight to the boxing world, but he doesn't have to do it. So I don't blame him for that. However, Floyd Mayweather thinks that Canelo should be tested against a fighter like Benavidez instead. He said, if it were up to me, we'd want to see Benavidez as face Canelo. It's time for Canelo to stop cherry picking opponents and take on a real threat like Benavidez. Floyd thinks that Canelo should face David in order to cement his legacy even further. Benavidez is a hungry lion, and Canelo needs to step up to face him if he wants to prove he's truly the best. I respect Canelo's accomplishments, but dodging Benavidez only raises questions about his willingness to take on real challenges. Rayo Valenzuela thinks that if Canelo fights Crawford first, then the chances of him fighting Benavidez would become very slim. But he also believes that David should get a shot at Canelo because he deserves it. You know, he keeps saying, you know, if the money's right, so I think the money will be right, you know, eventually. It depends which route Canelo goes, though. You know, it sounds like Terrence Crawford, the Saudis want to make that have fight happen, so... If he fights Crawford, then I think it will be less likely to fight Benavides. But, um, yeah, hopefully David gets it. You know, I think he deserves it. You know, he's been, he been the best for the minute. When asked who he thinks would have an upper hand during a potential fight between Canelo and Benavides, Rayo says that there's no doubt that Canelo is an elite boxer, but right now, David is just too fast and hungry for him to handle. Rayo stated, David beats Canelo. He's too fast. He's too hungry. Canelo is a great fighter, though. I'd take off my hat for him. He's a great Mexican fighter who has done a lot. He'd definitely go down in the history books as one of the best to ever do it. But right now, when I watch Canelo live, I think David beats him. Him. Caleb Plant lost to Canelo and then beat Anthony Dirrell, but then fell victim to David Benavidez, and he was questioned about the potential winner between a David versus Canelo duel, to which he said, both fighters have their advantages that will play in their favor. Obviously, David has good momentum. He's the bigger guy. He throws a lot of punches and has a good frame. Benavidez got tired of waiting for his chance against Canelo and moved up to light heavyweight for his latest fight. He got the win over former champion Oleksandr Gvozdik by a wide unanimous decision but he could well move down to super middleweight to face Saul. David believes that Canelo doesn't want to fight him and chooses opponents who are easier to beat. He thinks that Canelo is afraid of him and knows that it won't be an easy payday for him if he fights him. To be honest with you, bro, whatever Canelo does, that's on him. I mean, I feel like if he was the baddest, he's saying I'm talking so much why don't he come shut me up? That's, that's really, if you tr prove that you're the best and you are the best, what the f what does it cost you getting a $65 million check and showing somebody up that you're better than him? You know what I mean? If he doesn't want to fight me, he doesn't want to shut me up, it's for a reason. I mean, he knows what's up. You know what I mean? And I am the best. You know, all the other guys he's fought is weak. They all have no power. That's why he doesn't want to fight me. I'm the bigger guy. I throw big, I throw more shots. And I've, you know, I've, I've been here for a long, long time. So what are your thoughts about duration? Who do you want to see Canelo face next? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.